Hey, welcome to Expert Amateur. I am Rohan, requesting you to please subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment and share them. Please motivate me to make some better videos for you. And now I'll be talking about the Audi Q5 for today. So now I'll be taking you to the interior of the car and explaining the differences, showing you the differences. So I'm going to try and go in one car, that's the Q5 Sport, the red one, and then the blue one, which is the Q5 S-Line, so you can understand the difference as well. Again, it is always best that you visit the showroom, meet me or any of my colleagues. We'll be more than happy to show you the car in person. By the way, this showroom is the world's biggest showroom in the world for Audi cars. So this is how I'm going to open the door. It's a different style. Yeah. Looks cool. Okay. So it's got the wooden inlay over here. There are no memory seats. Where I'm going to go in the other car, the Q5 S line, and show you the memory seats. Let's do a feature at a time. Otherwise, it could get a bit confusing or maybe too much to absorb. Okay, that's how the door looks. Yeah. inlay over here are aluminium which go good with the grey interior. Colour combinations are something we'll need to sit down and see what's available in stock. That's the memory seat, R useful if you're sharing your car with somebody. Then here we go, Audi's virtual cockpit. It's really put Audi on the map. I can explain it in detail maybe in another video or when you meet me at the showroom. This is the virtual cockpit, different tabs. With these arrows, you can choose the way you want to personalize and have a look at the instrument cluster. So it's a multifunction steering wheel. What that means is when you're driving, you don't need to take your hands off the steering wheel. So you're always in control. That's the map looks really nice, doesn't it? And when I press view, the layout changes. So this is a classic layout where the tachymeter and the speedometer is big. But if you want a wider screen, which makes it look really cool, this is how the way I like to drive the Audi with the virtual cockpit. Yeah. I'm gonna go to Q5 Sport. Sometimes minimalistic is better for some people. Yeah. Classic tachymeter on the left, speedometer on the right. It's got a digital instrument cl uh, cluster over there in the center. It's not completely digital, but you can see it's color display. You've got a speedometer, some error or any warning radio station. It does all the work, but there you've got navigation. So it's more advanced, looks really nice. Steering wheel three spoke with a few buttons compared to the Q5 S line. Seating is same and the Q5 Sport, what it means is it's got nice sport seats. So the bolsters on the side, they really are nice. When you're taking turns, they keep you in your seat so you can take turns or um, yeah, you can have more fun without being really pushed out of your seat. And this is a feature I really like. It's really good for me. I'm a bit tall. So there's a handle underneath it. I lift it and I pull it. So this extra under thigh support is what probably two inches makes a lot of a difference for long drives, for short drive, just makes it a much more comfortable place to be in. It's so much better than the other chairs that I sit in during the day. Yeah, I enjoy going out on a test drive. For so many reasons, we'll go talk about that a little later. Let's continue to the differences. So the flat bottom steering wheel with many more buttons, looks nice and sporty. The grooves are nice. You really need to touch and feel it to understand. Yeah, the leather feels good. Okay, so the other difference now is a wider multimedia screen. You get three zone climate control, 
that's two and one behind a touchpad so what this does is when you want to enter a navigation destination or maybe you've connected your bluetooth phone and you want to enter a number a name that's where you can type and enter your details of um, let me just show you okay there we go okay hey well So this is what it does. Let's switch the car off. This is how the multimedia screen in the Q5 port is please on climate control but no touch interface because this does not have a navigation it does have the shortcut buttons for your radio station yeah, you see you just glide your hand over it it's got a nice premium feel to it let's switch the car off so these were the exterior and interior differences of the q5 there is a lot more i can talk about huh so as I was just shutting the door, I just saw this uh, a good feature. Heating, cooling, cup holder as standard. So you can keep your coffee warm or your bottle of water cool. Hey, check this out. The rating, fuel efficiency, very good in one liter. You can get 14.16 kilometers. Realistically, depends on your driving style. There's Audi Drive Select mode, efficiency, comfort, dynamic. So it caters to everybody's need, depending what the mood is. And that's the SQ5. And that's something else. And that's a powerful machine, which I'll be covering in a different video. For now, Q5 S line and Q5 Sport. Which one would you like? Let us know. See ya, waiting for you at the showroom.